Hello guys, happy Saturday. I was not planning on vlogging at all this weekend, but then I was like, what, why not? Like, why, why don't I? I feel like that'd be fun. So, happy Saturday, welcome to the vlog. This is just gonna be a weekend in my life. How exciting. This weekend is actually pretty exciting. Tonight I'm going to a red carpet event, which I'll tell you a bit more about later. And tomorrow I'm going to Hamilton. First stop this morning though, is to go to the dairy and buy some bread because mum and dad have gone away. They've gone up to Whangarei for the weekend and they've left me with no bread, like no oats, can't even make porridge, I don't even think there's milk, so I need to go <laughs> and buy myself some bread. But yes, this also does mean that I am home alone for the next like three days. So you guys are gonna keep me company, thank you so much. It's one of those days, like winter has well and truly arrived and it's actually warmer outside than it is inside. I'm gonna put a little foot on my story. Okay, we have secured the bread and I'm sorry, in what world is nature's fresh Four dollars thirty. Unless you have to work for like fifteen minutes just to buy that loaf of bread. I can eat it like <laughs> faster than that. Time to go home and actually eat this expensive gold coated. If anyone speaks Japanese, can you let me know what she just said? Because I have no idea. Going to plug the car in, so I'm going into the city tonight, so I'll need a little bit of charge to get there and back. Toast is in the toaster. Now, what is the plan of attack for today, you may be wondering. I had a little bit of a sleep in this morning till eight. I know that that's some people's normal wake up time. That is a sleep in for me. Like a three hour sleep in. I took what I could get. And it's 9.30 now. I don't really know what I've been doing for the past hour and a half, but that's okay. I've had a shower, I've done my quiet time, we're doing great. I'm gonna go visit my nana this morning, so I'm gonna call my brother shortly and see if he wants to come with. And then at 20 past 12, Taya's playing netball, and I wanna go watch that. So I'm gonna try and do that all those, like I'm only gonna go out once. Before I go anywhere though, I'm gonna do my weekly clean today, because tomorrow I'm gonna be in Hamilton. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna go pick up Matt, I'm gonna go visit nana, drop Matt home, go watch Taya play netball, come home, have some lunch, Chill out for the afternoon and then Tajel and Taya I think are coming over at some point this afternoon before we go to our red carpet event. We'll go do that and then I'll come home and then I'll sleep and then we'll have a great day tomorrow too. Oh, I just sat down to eat my breakfast. I also found some orange juice which is really cute but oh do you guys see what I see? I don't know how long this has been here or who did this but this is my pen and it's sitting like this for I don't know how long and I hope it hasn't dried up but I don't have a piece of paper to test it right now. All right, let the jobs commence. We're gonna start by folding my sheets and my washing and my laundry that I hung out yesterday. Also, I just need to say, this Udi sleep tea, they, they, they did gift it to me, but it is so, so nice to sleep in. I also love how there's like a neighbor mowing their lawns right now. It really just adds to the Saturday morning ambience. How do you even say that? I don't feel like ambience is like the American pronunciation. I feel like ambience is like, real kiwi. I swear if every time I fold my sheets I do it differently. I'm gonna fill you guys in on this red carpet event for tonight. Tejal and Taya and Sage and I are going to the premiere screening of Fast X. It's part of like the Fast and Furious movie series. I haven't seen a single one of those movies but that's okay. <laughs> We're just gonna like I have no idea if they're the sort of movies that you need to watch in order. I'll be able to let you know tonight because either I'm going to understand what's going on or I'm going to have absolutely no clue. But the reason we're going is because Morgan with like her work managed to get, she had like three double passes to give away to like friends and family. So we're all going to Sylvia Park to this movie premiere and Jason Momoa and Taika Waititi are going to be there. It's a little bit fancy but then like Taj and I were like what do we wear? And you guys might have seen a TikTok I was like what do I wear? But we're like at the end of the day like it is like the dress code's red carpet ready but it is just sylvia park all of the things i tried on that i was thinking of wearing are all dresses whereas now i'm kind of thinking like a pair of tailored pants and a nice top with some heels would also fit the brief all we're doing is going there going into a cinema and sitting in the dark like no one's actually really going to see for all i care i could just show up in sweatpants but that might be a little bit insensitive it is 10 to 11 and i need to make some moves i'm gonna go now I'm visit my nana because they had like a COVID outbreak. There's no COVID there now, but they've put in like strict visiting hours. And so you, I have to go before 11.30. Otherwise I can't go till like later this afternoon. So I'm going to go now and maybe pick up my brother on the way. I don't know if he is like available. Otherwise I'm just going to go by myself, which is fine. And then I'm um, on the way home. I'm going to go via the netball courts and watch Taya's game, which I'm so excited to see her. All of us gals who flattered together last year, we're all having like major withdrawals from each other at the moment. We all went our like separate ways. So 
I don't think I've ever actually said what everyone's doing now. But anyway, I'm back living at home with my parents in Auckland, working full time. Morgan moved to Auckland, she's working full time. Tay moved back to Auckland with her family, she's also working full time. Rachel stayed in Hamilton, she's working full time. And Danny moved to Disneyland in Florida, and she's also working pretty much full time as well. Um, working at Disneyland, by the way, literally the coolest thing ever. But we all just miss each other so much. So obviously, like us gals in New Zealand, like we try and see each other as much as we can, normally on the weekends. <sighs> I just miss Danny so much. Like, we were friends from year nine in high school all the way through. Lived together for two years. And then, all of a sudden, she's just literally on the other side of the world. So... I'm gonna try not to cry. No, it is really sad, but I'm so excited to see the girls, like Taya and Tajel tonight. And then I'm gonna go to Hamilton tomorrow and see Rachel, which I'm so excited for. I've been spending so much time in Hamilton recently and I'm absolutely loving it. I need to round, I feel like I'm gonna be too hot in a long sleeve shirt. All right, I have been and visited Nana. Honestly, Saturday traffic is like a whole different kind of chaotic. Like, is it people like running late for Saturday sport? Like what, like what's, <laughs> What's everyone's problem? I don't know. Okay, I've arrived. I'm actually parking at my Nana's house, but I don't know if I need a puffer jacket. Like it's, nah, that guy just walked past with short sleeves on. I don't need a puffer jacket. Howdy folks. I am home, as you can see. I've just had some lunch and made myself a sandwich and I'm just having some crackers and cheese. The girls are gonna be here in like two hours to get ready. Tay won a nipple game too, by the way. So she, I was talking to her, she's gonna come at like four. Tajel's gonna come around the same time. And then we're gonna go pick up Sage on the way. But before they get here, I need to, I went and picked up my injection from the pharmacy on my way home, so I need to do that as well, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm procrastinating it because A I have to put on shorts when it's cold, and B it just hurts. Also, hang on, let me finish my mouthful. I feel like I just fully glossed over the fact that, <laughs> that I have to inject myself. It's for my psoriasis. I inject myself once a month and then I don't have psoriasis. So, well, I, I do still have it, but it's just not as aggressive. Now you're in the know. Carry on having a few snacks and then I might just chill out for a bit. Then I'll do my injection once I've hyped myself up for it. The girls will be here and we'll get ready. I'm still undecided if I'm going to wear makeup because I feel like the camera does a really good job of hiding my skin imperfections. But my skin is so dry and flaky right now. And I feel like if I put makeup on it, A, it's just not going to like stick. And B, it's just going to fall off. I've just come to the delightful realization that my dogs are going to be out on show tonight. So I am going to paint my toenails. But I'm going to do my injection now because I just want, I just need to get it over and done with. Eh? Like, I'm just overthinking it. And it's kind of like ripping off a plaster. you just got to do it. Um, got my sharps container. I'm not going to show any needles or anything. So if you're, like, scared of needles and stuff, don't worry. I will not show that. But to be fair, you, you actually can't see the needle. I've never seen it. It's... Like all like preloaded. If this is gonna be a problem for you, I'll pop a timestamp here and you can skip to this part of the video. But other than that, let's let's do it. I get so many questions about these actually now that I think about it. This is what they look like. There's two of them. I do one in each leg. It's called Cosentix or Secukinamab is like its pharmaceutical name. First step is to use a little alcohol swab and just wipe the area. I self-tanned yesterday, so this is gonna wipe off the tan as well. That's really fun. Oh, it's not wiping my tan off. That's Marvellous. But I find if I do it like after a leg day, it hurts. <laughs> like when the muscles are all tense. So I need to, I sit back as far as I can in the chair and like fully relax my legs. Otherwise it stings real bad. So I like this and I just twist it off. See, you can't see a needle. Like it's fully like retracted up in there. It's like automated. And I'll sit back. You guys, you can't see anything because it's below the frame. Oh, why am I nervous? This is stupid. I got like stage fright. Three, two, one. click and I leave it in for a second and then I pull it out oh that was like the longest like 10 seconds of my life that's one done it actually didn't hurt which I'm stoked about so while we're on a good confident streak here I'm just gonna go in for the win on the second one relax three two one and the end of that one stung a little bit laughing while doing it doesn't really help anyway that's that done since i'm going to paint my nails there's some dishes that need to be done that my parents so kindly left for me to do um so i'm going to do those and then we'll reconvene to sort out my my claws painting your nails is honestly like the biggest like it's more of a hassle than washing your hair i reckon i literally cannot remember the last time i painted my nails 
kind of like a year ago. I'm doing this colour. Um, it's called Elderflower Power from Sally Hansen. I was gifted that like three years ago. Good morning guys. Last thing I vlogged yesterday I think was before the girls even came over. So the girls came over, we got ready, we went to Sylvia Park via McDonald's. Had the best McDonald's that I've ever had in my life. It was literally just nuggets and chips. I was like driving with them on my, with the nuggets on my lap and I like was eating them. And then I reached back into the container and they were all gone. I'm like dang it, I should have got a 10 pack. And then I did the same with my chips and I ate them all. I was like damn it, like I should have got large. But anyway, we turned up at Sylvia Park and it was so busy. Like if you've been to Sylvia Park on a busy day, you know what I'm talking about. Like you're waiting for someone else to pull out of their car park so you can take it. We managed to get like a pretty okay park, which is great. And then we went in and the line was so long and there were so many people just like on the red carpet just kind of standing there and i was so fixated on getting up the escalator i was like i'm on a mission i'm getting up this escalator i don't want to be like seen <laughs> like a little bit stage fright right now it's like i didn't even realize until literally on the drive home when the girls told me but when i was powering through the crowd on the red carpet i literally walked straight past jason momoa and tano Munga. so anyway we went up the escalator went into the cinema watched the movie it was great yeah i haven't seen any of the previous Fast and Furious movies so I was really going into it blind and like I will admit there were some references that I didn't get that everyone else kind of laughed at or was like oh and I was like mm, I have no idea what you're talking about so I do need to go back now and watch the previous nine yeah and then afterwards we met up with Morgan because she was working there and then we came home and now it's Sunday I'm about to plan out my week and I need to edit my YouTube video that's going up tomorrow and then after lunch I want to go visit my nana on the way to Hamilton and I want to hang out with Rachel we're gonna go to church together and then I will come home afterwards you guys know the drill you're coming along with me I just realized I formatted my SD card the other day and lost all my footage from last weekend why did i do that oh i'm decided that i'm gonna make some cookies last time i went down and saw rachel in her flat i took the girls down some fudge cake and i kind of set the standard quite high in the fact that i kind of said i'd bring baking every time i visited them like i don't have to obviously like they won't care if i turn up empty-handed but i'm like I don't know, like I feel like it would be kind of nice to take them some food. I'm going to try and make them using the honey, nougat and almond chocolate from Whitakers. That's how I realised that I lost my footage from last weekend because I actually vlogged going to this event and I never used it. I never turned it into a vlog because the like I didn't end up finishing the vlog so I, now I can't because the footage is gone. Yay. I'm going to follow just a recipe I found online. It is the best chocolate chip cookie recipe ever. <laughs> Sounds good enough for me. Never mind, we don't have butter. Do I go to the shop and buy some butter? I feel I really want to make these now that I've like, now that I've thought about it. What the heck, I'm going to go do it. First batch of cookies are done and out of the oven and yes, I'm wearing the exact same outfit as yesterday. But these look and smell amazing. The second, there's like a third lot in the oven currently, which have like five minutes left. I also realised that Rachel doesn't like nuts. Like she's not allergic to them, she just doesn't like them. She also doesn't like Whitaker's chocolate. So I made a few without the Whitaker's in it so that she can all right it's out of the oven mm. it is so good okay i rate the recipe and i'll leave it down below for you guys so we can all be a part of this also the reason that i'm going to hamilton well it's to see rachel obviously but i'm also going to church down there tonight back to arise i miss my Hamilton church family so much but I'm so okay I'm excited because tonight the reason I'm going is because they have a relationship panel me being a single gal I'm looking for all of the relationship advice I can get it's funny like after being in a four-year relationship I feel like I know nothing about relationships this seems like it doesn't make sense like it doesn't make sense but that's just how I'm feeling so any solid Christian relationship advice that I can get my hands on right now I'm all for it hence the trip to Hamilton. Alrighty, I have just made it to Hamilton, so it's time to go inside and see Rachel. But on the way down here, because Rachel got stuck in traffic coming over from Tauranga, so I ended up charging on the way at Taupiti, and I didn't realise the charge there is free, and it's at the BP, which is so ironic. So you rock up, the gas station is buzzing, <laughs> there's a charger there, no one was using it, so I just rocked on up, plugged in, free power, and now I've got enough charge so after church I can just go straight home to Auckland. How good. Anyway, let's go and see Rachel. You are gonna be on. Not okay. okay, I have I have a present for you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. What is it? Hang on. You ready? Yeah. I intentionally didn't send you a photo of this today because I want it to be a surprise. I baked you some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you! But I did 
do have to confess. What? It's got the new Whitaker's chocolate in it, which does yeah. have almonds in it. But That's you right. can like not even taste them. Okay. But there are some like that. There's just so many. This is only like half of them. <laughs> what <laughs> the heck? There's so many. Okay, we are literally like two seconds away from church. Rachel's serving tonight doing photography, but not for the whole thing. Just for like the start. Yeah. And just then she's gonna come photos. and sit with me. But I was just saying to Rachel, because they do night service and morning service. I haven't been to night service in Hamilton since like October last year. So I'm very excited for this. Oh uh It's gonna be so good. And it's a relationship panel. Yeah, so. I was saying to them. And what? single girls. Single gals, we're all about we're this. We're all about this. I'm a little spun to want to soak up all the information I can get right now. We're back at Rachel's, someone's coming in the door. Hi! Hey. Can you show them my room? Oh yeah, this is this is Rachel's room. This oh, is Bella. Hi. Has Bella been in the vlog before? No. And this is her boyfriend. Oh, this is her special friend, <laughs> Liam. <laughs> I'm going home. Isn't it weird that I have different flatmates? Mm, it is weird. See you guys in Auckland. <laughs> Hello guys, I am back in Auckland. I'm literally about to turn my light out and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't finished the vlog. So this is me finishing the vlog, but thank you guys for watching. It was honestly the most wholesome, cup-filling, calm, restful weekend. It was just what I needed, so feeling very good. But anyway, it is time for me to go to bed. I'm getting up at quarter past five in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Love, love, inflation. That was, 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 wow, English, you met.